What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SCN on TV uh, podcast. I can't remember words anymore because words are difficult. Brought to you by TVCaptive.com for Big Brother uh, Season 16, Episode 6 from July 6th. Um, I'm your host, Dom. With me, I have Erica. Hello. And Luke Skywalker. Well, welcome to Big Brother, and thanks for the introduction, Dom. Mm-hmm. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Very well, thank you. Happy to be back again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> so what did you think of this episode? Very confusing and complicated, but I think we are looking possibly, possibly looking at the first ever same-sex possible showmance, which sounds very complicating since Frankie, not Frankie, since Zach has stated... Now, I am not gay, but I feel like Frankie would be my perfect boyfriend or something like that. And even Frankie mentions, he follows me around like a little puppy. We do everything together. But at the same time, he says he dates women. And now now they're calling it on the live feeds of Facebook and the live feeds, I think, on either Twitter or the main website for CBS.com slash Big Brother, you know, a gay straight showman. So... We're either looking at a gay straight showmance, a complication, or as you pointed out, Erica, a very good gameplay. Yeah. People aren't really sure if he's just playing the game really well or if he's just not realizing that he's gay or you know, bi or whatever. He could, you know what, there's a possibility he could be bi curious. Looks can be deceiving. And you know something? I think it would be good to finally have a same sex showmance. We haven't seen one before. All we've seen were hetero showmances. And there's another showmance in the making Hayden and Nicole. Yeah. Well, a little schoolboy crush, huh, Hayden? Main reason why we haven't seen any uh, gay showmances is because they usually have one gay person. This is true. Yeah. Or, pretty much or some, some seasons. No, 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 no. No, well, some, no, some seasons they'll have a gay person and a lesbian person. But. Well, yeah, but remember Big Brother 8 had two gay men in the house, which was mainly, as Dom pointed out, was part of the twist. It was an X Factor, basically, type of season uh, where yeah. you go back into the house and you're either going to play the game next to an estranged relative, an ex-lover, or a distant friend from high school. That was all, basically all I know is I don't care how much money is on the line if if not all of my exes but if if certain ones um if I had to play the game next to one of them I would just have opened the door and walked out <laughs> I know I know that could be kind of complicated but you know something I don't think I would pass on it if I had to play the game with an ex because I'd like to prove to myself that I'd be a strong competitor and a strong player against this person that person would genuinely maybe become my first target, but in a sense to where I wouldn't let that other person know. But it, it, it's impossible to play the game like you want to play the game because then you're just focusing all your time on either trying to act normal around them or trying to get them out of the house. And either way, that's going to make you seem psycho. So it's just, you're better off just leaving, in my opinion. I, I want yeah. no part of that. But, um, yeah, it's it's interesting, the, the Frankie, Zach whole thing going on or whatever i like i don't know what to think like is do, do you I. think it's... zach may actually be closet gay or uh, it's think... like like rachel says in the chat i'm not gay but i play one on tv <laughs> but maybe maybe he didn't know that he was and he's coming to term maybe he's bi maybe he doesn't know maybe he's coming to terms with it here he's self-discovery maybe. in the house yeah and if they aren't a showman i'm jealous because you know i like a cute guy like that <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, but in other words, this could make Big Brother history. You never know. I mean, it's a complicated situation, but we will know either by tomorrow or Thursday, or I whenever just, they show. I feel I feel really sorry for him if he is coming to terms with that because that's some powerful shit you got to deal with. Yeah, and he's got to do it on, on live streams on, on live TV, TV streams in then, real time. <laughs> then Frankie clearly does not feel the same way. As he does, because Frankie is just like, he's he's just my little puppy. Like right. I don't know what it is. No, 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 no. I do you? I think that don't you think that Frankie seems attracted to him? 
No, I don't think so. I think Frankie's I haven't Frankie's seen playing the game, I think, more than anything. And he's going to use this to advantage. I think this is a power move on his side. I, I don't think he feels the same way. But he's going to he's gonna carry this on as long as it, he thinks it's going to get him further in the uh-huh. game. Um, and it's just like that's good gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like anybody else. If you find somebody that's attracted to you and is wanting to, wanting to help you out just because just because of that, then you're going to keep them around because that's a vote. You know, that's, that's a, especially if that's like they win the veto or they win the head of household, you're safe because they're not going to, they're not going to boot their lover out of the house. You know? Right. Exactly. And you know something else too, when you're in the big brother house, you basically have to kiss up to everybody. There's a lot of kissing up and stuff like that. And it's, it, I think everybody uses a lot of kissing up towards their game strategy because remember, Everybody is playing their own game individually. They're all competing to be the last one standing for the half million dollars. Well, you know who's really playing their own game, and that would be Devin. I don't think he's. Devin. I don't think he's even aware there's other people in the house. He's like really <laughs> playing his own game. Yes. Yeah, you know something? I don't think he's all there in the head because if you've noticed how he was, you know, judging other people for being slobs, and you know what? I'll admit I'm a clean freak too, but. I would not go off on anybody because other people are used to living their own ways and their own lives. So that they can't just change, you know, who they are just like that. I mean, he basically goes to Brittany and accuses her. He talks to her like that's an ex or something. Like, I, I, I would be like, if I were Brittany, I'd be like in the diary room. Seriously, who do you think you're talking to? Your ex-wife? He nominated Brittany because she put her lotion in the kitchen. How that was the entire was reason. That? That is ridiculous. I mean, in my opinion, I think that is completely ridiculous. I mean, what do you guys think? I think that's complete BS. I don't think. I don't think he knows what he's doing. I don't think Most... he knows what he's doing either. Like I said, you know what? Devin is all muscles and no brains. He's got the IQ of frozen yogurt. The his <laughs> his reason his reason was more than the lotion, but yeah, the reason was the lotion. I'm not gonna lie. It's the yeah. lotion, but he made up the the other thing because he found this out afterwards. So like Brittany, like being like Devin doesn't run this house or whatever. Like, you know, and yeah. she started like, <laughs> oh, oh, so the nominees that were put up on the block weren't the first people who fell. Like, because Devin's yeah, big apology to the house is moral. Th- like, I can respect yeah. that. I can the respect that. He wants the- to come clean with people, but do it right. where it's not going to be at the cost of people's allegiances yeah. in the house you know? other people's games yeah that's what i think too because you know something you know when there's a house meeting like candace called a house meeting last year and she stirred the pot and now Devin is stirring the pot this year the first thing that i would do in when i get to the house is i would call a house meeting because it always blows up in that person's face i'd call the house meeting but we've already stated that i wouldn't be talking in the first place so i would <laughs> i don't know how i'd get the house meeting to start but i would call the house meeting and then i wouldn't say anything so you would just basically call a house meeting and just sit there, and everybody's like, "No, I okay. get everybody to sit down, and then I just walk away." You know, you could probably get, that... you could probably get production to give you a whiteboard. Mm, probably, Possibly. and then you just like scribble onto it. <laughs> yeah, and instead of opening your mouth, you could basically scribble and get the words out like that. Because if, let's face it, if you're too chicken to actually say something, and you think it'll affect your gameplay, then that would be the right way to do it. I, it's not that I'm too chicken. I just do it because nobody's done it. That's the only reason. Exactly. You know what? Make a little history in the game, you know, and then throw a party for yourself. Like, I would love to go in the house like with a black cloak, like Grim Reaper style, in the house and never speak to anyone ever. Yeah, be the big, bro- <laughs> the big brother Grim Reaper. BB Reaper. BB Reaper, yup. Hashtag That would be, that would be my Reaper. hashtag, BB hashtag Reaper. That. I literally would be the best thing on that show. Oh, you would. You know something? I could see all of us in the Big Brother house, and I think we have our own special talent that we could bring into the game, and I think it would be good for us to make really big moves in the game. I would have loved to have been a part of Team America. Well, I do want... I am a part of Team America. I am helping them pick which house guests could do, you know, make... make what, what's it for Team America? Have them do their own tasks or something like that? Yeah, so, so far nothing's been done because uh, Joey was That's taken out. We have Donnie, and I believe we're going to find out Wednesday now who the other two members are? Tomorrow night, after the power of veto. Yeah. Yeah. So, it should be interesting. I think it should be. Uh, tomorrow night should be a really interesting night. I like to see what's going to... Although, now that we're live, 
I already know what's going to happen, but I'm going to wait until you guys actually part of my language while we are live, but you two, all I'm going to say is you are going to shit a brick. <laughs> or another is this over like a competition or something? Like, do you know the results of a competition? Is that what you're talking about, yes. or? Yes, I, yes, I do, and I am not saying a word. I'm leaving it all up okay. to your. Okay, no, I just, I, I want to make sure that our, your, what you're saying is shitting a brick is over, like the winner of a competition, and not something else that happened in the house. So, it, it's, it's the, the winner of a com result. it's okay. it's the winner of a competition and a big potster. Just put it that way. Somebody Excellent. is about. Let me just put it to you this way: somebody in the Big Brother house is about to make a really big move excellent that's what we need total to spice power this show shift. up we need a to total spice power up. shift so um but devin did make a pretty interesting play uh this week with the the competition and everything right we had um him set up uh what was it hayden and nicole right to lose or to win set them up to win right and told them they weren't going home told them that they were going to win so they they got off the block and he was right. And then set it up with Paula to throw the competition. Now, usually in these these circumstances, you you have um what it was Paula and Brittany, right? So yes, Paula throws the competition and that makes Brittany the the um the target and Paula the pawn. And typically on this show, the pawn ends up going home. Yeah, that has been known to happen, but only Quite I often. want to give it more often like, than not. Well, true. So you know something, I won't really be surprised if Paula is the one sent packing. Hmm. But like I said, I kind of know what's already going to happen and who's going to be going out the door. It's so obvious, but I'm going to leave it up to you guys for tomorrow night's episode. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, we'll uh, you'll be surprised, and in our next broadcast, you're going to be like. Oh my God! Omg! It's gonna your your eyes are just gonna pop. Mm. <laughs> but I don't like spoilers. I want right. to. It's too earlier. It's too earlier in the game to be looking at spoilers. I looked at spoilers last year because I was really nervous about who was running the house because Macranda was running the house and I could not stand them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I tend not to. It's not that I'm completely against it. I don't. I personally don't want to spoil it for the for the people that watch our podcast and stuff like that. I don't want them to be deterred from watching because um, we may leak spoilers out, which we don't intend on doing. Um, but uh, I personally don't really care too much myself if it gets spoiled. Me too. So, I don't know. Um, oh, carrying on from last podcast. That means take a shot. <laughs> I said I don't know. Oh, I said it again. Take another shot. Um, so, what was it? They brought Hayden into um, Christine and uh, Nicole. who? Nicole's. Christine and Nicole's alliance. How do you think? Uh, how do you think that's gonna? Work? Did they did they officially name that alliance yet? Uh, I, they did. I forget its name though. I would have Let to go back here. and look. Um, Erica. I'm going to look on that CBS page and see if where they have all the alliances lined out. Yeah, I'm trying to find it, but I'm terrible with finding stuff on the fly. Um, yeah, I can't find the link. Yeah, Big Brother Alliance Tracker. Uh Uh, alliance number five, name to be determined. Okay, so they have not named it yet. Yeah, yeah. strangest alliance of all time. Hmm. So it's it's basically two girls and one guy. Do you do you see Donnie <clears throat> fitting in with that group? I do, because Donnie. Yeah, if if he could get introduced to him, yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, because Donnie's very mellow and very quiet, and you know something, I give Devin a lot of credit for having the guts to come to Donnie and come clean to him, and Donnie. Being, what I like about Donnie is he's very forgiving, and I like forgiving people. So you know something? I'm not one to hold a grudge, and I like to see that, you know, Donnie has, even in the diary room, Donnie was like, you know, I'm, I'm glad you've come clean to me, and it makes me feel good about myself. It shows right. what a real person that Donnie is. Yeah. 
And you could see Donnie in the other room laying down listening to the whole Big Brother meeting and like he kept perking up, giving thumbs up and stuff like that. Like <laughs> that was funny watching him get that cut to that. Because I remember he wasn't involved in the house meeting, he was laying in bed. Right. So yeah. Um then we had so Donnie could very well fit in that group very easily. Um if Joey was still in the house, I could see her being in that group. So do I. But I so don't do really I. see much more after that like donnie i think is really the only other person that fits into that group i agree i agree you know maybe victoria because she's kind of an outcast right now it's she what is. victoria and victoria joe costa and donnie are really the house outcasts at this point like they're not aligned with anybody they're like the floaters whatever complete floaters right. i think uh, the best hashtag for this alliance you know this would be good if they could make up, or if they could come up with this name and make a hashtag for it. The BB Misfits. Yeah. I, I think if that's a I good name. If I would have joined that alliance, I would call it the B. I would I would vote for it to be the BB Misfits. I like it. I, I like trying, it too. I was trying to think of a name for it. I couldn't come up with anything. BB Misfits sounds awesome. <laughs> there was this that be, one you know, guy that said. These live feeds that we do, we should make an alliance for each other. Yeah, um, I don't it know. Would, it would be just hard to think of a name because I just brought it up randomly. Yes. We are the BB Misfits. Boom. <laughs> uh, uh, we are the BB, uh, we are the BB Bloggers. Yeah. BB Bloggers. So, I guess I can't ask this question to Luke. But, um, Erica, do you think somebody will be taken off the block? Well, if it's that shocking, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's generally the only way things happen is if, if somebody, somebody, you know, not involved wins and just decides, oh, I'm going to fuck up your game. I'm going to take this person off. You know? Yeah, so if I had to make a guess at this shocking predicament, I, I'm guessing Brittany's getting taken off the block. That's my guess. Um, yeah. In that case, that would leave Paula on the block with a replacement to put up. And I'm going to say, if I had to pick a replacement... Um, hmm... I don't really know. Amber, Caleb, or Derek, I think, are my three choices. I don't know. Who, who, don't can, know. who can you see going up as a replacement? I don't know, really. <laughs> it's... Joe Casta, but I don't see that being shocking. So Yeah, that wouldn't really be shocking. It would be more like... It would be more shocking if... If, uh, that's why I think it's a member oh, of the bomb what's squad. What's his name? Yeah, he put up one of his bomb squad members. Yeah, that not, that would be that's, shocking. That's, no, that's yeah. really not shocking for Devin though. <laughs> that's not shocking for Devin not at for all. Devin's, <laughs> Devin's just ridiculous. So it would be the only I don't the only actual shocking thing he could do, and it would be against the Big Brother rules to do it, so he won't. It's just say, okay, I nominate myself. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, that would be a big brother first if it wasn't against It's, the it's against the rules, yeah. I you would, can't nominate the head of household. I would so. nominate myself. You can't. I mean, although that would be a first for big brother history considering <laughs> that if you're HOH, you're not considered safe, even if you're the official. Oh, no, if you are the official one, you are considered safe. Yeah. Matter of fact, I don't know if that is a rule or not. I know there's a rule that the, the POV winner can't be nominated, but I don't right. know if uh, there's specifically a rule saying the head of household can't nominate themselves. Uh -huh. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the way that the power of veto works as well is the person that wins the power of veto, if they take somebody off the block, if they're not on the block, they are also immune from being put on the block, correct? Right. You cannot correct. nominate the, the power of veto holder. You can't. So. Because that, that's part of the game. You can't do it. Right. You can't say, well, I'm taking, I'm taking Brittany off the block. Okay, well, you're going on in her place. No, you, you can't, can't do it. You can't do that. <laughs> Because basically the dialogue says, so-and-so, now that I have vetoed one of your nominees, it is time for you to stand and make a new nomination and do a replacement. 
to name a replacement nominee. Yeah. Hmm. So, no, in previous seasons, I've always been like, always been like, just nominate that person. That's your real target. But it's like, oh, yeah, they can't do that. Okay. I, yeah. I, but I think the good idea, what they mentioned earlier in the season, was to get rid of all the floaters in the game. Who wants to play the game with floaters? You can't trust floaters. Well, the floaters make the season more fun. They do. Because they, they, if you they, have two hard camps against each other, then it's just a battle of blows back and forth. But if you have floaters in the middle that aren't really aligned, and then say Joe Costa wins the the head of household next week, who the hell knows what's going to go on? You know, who is she going to nominate? Who whose side is she going to go to? You know, that it just makes it more fun. I agree. I agree. Yep. Uh, you guys have anything else you want to throw in for this episode? No, that's it until tomorrow. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see till after tomorrow's veto. That we will. That we will. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Uh, Erica, where can the people find you? It's on at Twitter at EricaRain7. That's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> Anywhere else under that name? Uh, Luke, where can the people find you? On Facebook, you can follow me or add me. Search for me by my email, L A B B Y. 245 at hotmail.com Excellent. Uh, you can find me on Twitter here. Phenomenon. P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M where you will find my cat in the background screaming and crying because it wants to eat and I need to feed it and stuff and things. Uh, you can find all of us on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, G+, and right here on YouTube slash Podcast. For some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. <laughs> I'll just throw this in. Can't get enough Big Brother? There is never a dull moment. See what's happening inside the Big Brother house anytime with the live feeds on CBS.com all day, all night. Don't turn away. You might miss something. Oh, I missed something. Um... Yeah. yeah, so I think that does it. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. From outside the Big Brother house, I'm Luke. Good night. <laughs>